Hi, my name is Dr. Sav and I am a critical care specialist. Many of my students have asked this common question. What is the scope of my career after I complete post-graduation in anesthesiology? Therefore, my dear students, I have created this video presentation in which I will discuss about uh, many things regarding the career options uh, after post-graduation in anesthesiology and also salary structure and etc. There is a very interesting research regarding the awareness about the scope of anesthesiology and attitudes and you will be very surprised to know that uh, many of uh, postgraduate students uh, are not aware of the scope of anesthesiology and that is the reason I have created this pre presentation. According to this, this research, most common reason for selecting anesthesia as a career was interest in the subject. In my case, I would tell you that I took anesthesiology way back in 2009 after leaving surgery, medicine and orthopedics in the good colleges. I was thinking that uh, anesthesiology has great scope. I was keen on earning money after my post-graduation. However, I developed a keen interest in the subject during my residency program and therefore I opted for fellowship in critical care anesthesiology from Chipmark Pondicherry. And after that I was consultant in anesthesiology. Later I uh, cracked a DM critical care entrance exam and I completed DM critical care from Tata Memorial Hospital Mumbai. Following that I worked as a, a senior uh, uh, resident, super specialist senior resident in uh, Varanasi uh, in a branch of TMH and later I was selected as an associate professor in Rajendra Institute of Medical Sciences where I am working since last one and a half years. So this is my story. And I'm quite uh, contentful and uh, happy over here. So apart from critical care, there are various other uh, options. So to, uh, let's discuss about them. But before that, let me tell you, according to many, anesthesia is considered as 99% boredom and 1% panic when you are in operation theater. However, anesthesia is not just about doing procedure. It is way beyond it. It is way beyond it because you have varied options. Anesthesiologist is the silent force behind the scene always. It is a behind the curtain job where you will be managing whole physiology of patient, monitoring and anticipating the complications way before uh, anesthesia is given. Okay, in a preoperative checkup, you will be planning for anesthesiology and also you will be doing the post-operative pain management as well as managing critical illness of emergency surgeries. Now anesthesiologist has come outside operation theater and has been regarded a very important workforce during the COVID-19 situation as Time magazine has recognized this effort and published a special report during COVID-19 pandemic highlighting the role of anesthesiologist in managing COVID wards and ICUs across globe and that itself has earned wide publicity as well as recognition. Now contrary to the previous decade, everyone knows who anesthesiologist is. The golden period of anesthesia branch has begun already. So what is the scope of anesthesia in India? After having talked about the role of anesthesiology, I'm going to discuss this main part of my discussion. So after having completed MD or DNB in anesthesiology, there is variety, there is variety of options available after one has completed the post-graduation. Okay, so either you can go to the academic line or a job line as per your preference. If you go to academic line, or teaching line you have to complete three years of senior residency in an academic institute or medical college in order to become assistant professor in anesthesiology as per MCI rule if you want to join big corporate institutes such as Medanta, Manipal, Fortis or Narayana Hirdwalia you need to complete three years of uh, senior registrarship and become a junior consultant, consultant later in institutes you can have impressive career including the academic and research. If you are uh, in a private institute, 
your career will be rising until you work hard and keep yourself updated regarding the recent advances in uh, anesthesiology in job line you can work as a freelancer that means that you will be a visiting consultant in uh, various small hospitals and earning lot you will be quite busy in those hospitals in those private hospitals okay you can work also in a government hospital as an anesthetist but your salary will be fixed and uh, there is a middle approach also uh, like you can uh, go for uh, neat super specialty exam and do a uh, post doctoral course like dm or dnb that is 3 years or idcc pdf pdcc course for one year in various uh, sub specialties like cardiac anesthesia neuro anesthesia pain management pediatric anesthesia liver or transplant anesthesia critical care medicine solid organ transplant anesthesia etc so so uh, this is uh, according to your own preferences you want to do the sub specialty course always listen to your uh, heart and your mind as well uh, while selecting uh, uh, sub specialty courses in uh, after neat super specialty uh, entrance exam is cracked so now uh, this is interesting part and also very hard question to answer regarding the salary which is quite commonly asked question so that that depends on your luck okay the salary uh, is usually uh, very very uh, variable uh, value okay it is generally very low in south india roughly around 70 80000 in medical college colleges and 80 to 90000 in the corporate sector that would be the starting salary if you are prepared to work more you earn more money but there is always a plateau phase after that even if you work more you won't be getting uh, higher salary okay rather you will be having drop in your quality of life and uh, you will be having lot of work pressure stress and burnout okay so you should avoid all those things so according to this web source the average physician anesthetist salary in india is uh, 12 lakhs per year in rupees okay and uh, that is a uh, mean value remember this is the mean value and there are various uh, factors which are going to determine this value for example the years of experience uh, in the specialty the hospital the type of city the state and regional differences etc so this is quite highly variable uh, value the salary so after this i'm going to say you good luck uh, i conclude my video presentation and i hope that you might have made your decision uh, to become anesthesiologist and if you want any guidance further or you have any question you can write to me in the comment box and i will try to answer so thank you so much